So, can little children believe in Jesus? When you look at a little child, even let's say an infant, a baby that has just been born, they seem completely helpless. They are not able to talk. They are not able to express themselves. Think about a child believing in Jesus. That seems almost impossible. Don't they have to be able to confess that they love Jesus in a way that we can understand it? Let me tell you a, a story. It happened a long, long time ago. There was a lady who was visited by an angel and she was told that she was going to be the mother of Jesus. Yeah, yes, you, you do know this story, don't you? It's, it's Mary. Mary was told that she was going to be the mother of Jesus and, and when she received that announcement, she went to visit a close relative, Elizabeth and comes to her house and says, hello, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth says to her, um, well, what Elizabeth uh, experiences is when Mary passes along the greeting, her little baby jumps inside her womb. Now the baby was right around six months old. And those of you who are mothers know that babies can jump around in the womb when they're six months old. You feel it from the inside. And so you might say, oh, well, yeah, you know, heard a sound, it startled the baby, the baby jumped except Elizabeth, speaking by the Holy Spirit, now explains to Mary what just happened. And Elizabeth, as God gave her insight, knew that her baby jumped for joy in the womb. Yes, that's what Luke reports, that the baby jumped in joy. Now, you might say, how could Elizabeth know that? And that's, well, God told her that that's what happened. But the next question is, how could a baby have joy knowing what had just walked into the room? Couldn't see it, had no awareness, right? Physically, as far as we can say, with eyes. Um, I don't know how it happened. I guess that's what we call a miracle, isn't it? It's a miracle that that little baby John inside of the womb of Elizabeth jumped for joy when the mother of Jesus walked into the room. And what that reminds us of is that when we think about little children and whether they can believe in Jesus or not, no, not by their own reason or their own strength, but none of us can believe in Jesus by our own reason or strength. It's only when the Holy Spirit creates trust in our hearts by the powerful good news of Jesus that faith is present. It's, it's a miracle. It's a miracle every time. And, and, and obviously it was a miracle in the womb of Elizabeth and that means that little children can absolutely believe in Jesus because God does miracles. Now the question is, how does God work those miracles? Well, thankfully he tells us. He uses his powerful words to create faith. How do children hear powerful words? Well, parents speak to them, but God's powerful word is also attached to the application of water in baptism. And so parents, as soon as they are able want to baptize their little babies because we know that God works faith through baptism. God saves through baptism. Not a putting off of dirt from the body, but this, uh, this new conscience, this clear conscience, this clear conscience that God gives, yes, even to little children, trusting in Jesus and through their faith in Jesus, their sin washed away.